Hi everybody, welcome back, it's Anna. All right, I wanted to show you just a few things that I picked up to use in my current journal and then to uh, create a new album as my next journal, just because I am thoroughly enjoying this ringbound journal so much that I made. That's very scrappy, very Sue's Fish inspired that I wanted to get materials to make my own covers. Now, this all started with, I think about a week ago, I went on Freckled Fawn, which is one of the websites that Suze Fish had mentioned in a blog post. I was rereading some of her posts. And uh, I have never really checked that website ever, so I decided to look on there, and there was this really beautiful heart-printed a six by eight journal cover and it happened to be on sale so I put it in my cart and I just let it sit there all week and I told myself well if by the end of the week I still really want it I'm gonna buy it because it was a good price I didn't know what was shipping but uh, I kind of figured it was gonna be more than what I wanted to spend and that's why I just really hesitated and I just sat there on my cart long story short I decided to not buy it and go in search to find something similar and make myself. And that was like a faux leather printed six by eight cover with bands on the inside so you can kind of put your own notebooks in. And I was still wanting something that was ring bound. And so I went in search, I did some shopping and while I spent pretty much the same amount as I would have for just the cover. I got enough materials for me to use in my current journal, in future journals, and to make my own junk journal covers and pages. So essentially I got a lot of material to use for a while. And you're going to see a lot of hearts because I've mentioned that I just love the heart motif right now. I love it. And I wanted to find some heart paper to use to make my own cover, to kind of mimic that cover that I was gonna buy. And while that is reusable, yes, but it wasn't ring bound. And so I decided to skip it because it wasn't quite what I wanted. I went to Hobby Lobby and I did find heart print paper for a really good price. It was on sale. And then I just grabbed a stack of them basically to use as pages, to use as covers. I'm gonna make my own cover. And then I wanted just a black and white stripe. And then I picked up some vellum printed designs. I thought this was a pretty one to use as like a little pop of color. I can punch tags out of it or something like that. Gold hearts. And then the black and white hearts. I'm just, I'm crazy about hearts right now. So, and they were all on sale. So it was a good price. And then I have this gold foiled one. This is a kind of like a sketchy heart design that's in rose gold. And then I also got the silver hearts version of that gold one. And then this kind of handmade pressed paper. And then all this stuff too. So you can see that I was able to get a lot of materials to kind of extend my creativity rather than just spend it on one cover. Um, I got these tags to start with, but I know I have cardstock and I know I can print out a template to just cut my own. So I decided to just get some to start with and then I'm going to create my own tags and that's why I bought the reinforcement rings to go with it. And then I'm just going to make my own tags and just have different sizes of them for journaling, for punching things out. And that's my plan for that. I got some little envelopes that are white. I wanted white. I don't have a lot of white. I've come from a long history of journaling with a lot of craft colors, browns, neutrals, vintage papers. And so I really wanted to insert... I wanted to go and search for brighter colors and just white things, which I don't have a lot of, which is the reason why I did a little bit of shopping. And um, same with these, I got these little tags that I can use. I could stamp 
little images on them and tie ribbons to them. And these were all on sale too, so I didn't spend that much. Um, and then I got these little flags. Once again, I can just tag them, um, stamp on them, do all sorts of fun things with it. I decided to get a mini heart punch. This is a different size. It's smaller than the one that I have. And I thought this would be fun if I wanted to punch that into this and add as like an embellishment. Or I could use it to punch um, onto these tags. Or if I create my own tags, instead of the circle hole at the top, I could just punch a heart and use that as the hole to attach ribbon to. So got that and more hearts. <laughs> um, I saw these uh, in the jewelry section and I thought those would be fun to glue down as like a little embellishment and um, huge box of them. So plenty to use, it's 500 of them. And more hearts. Um, I saw this washi tape, which also happens to be very similar to the design of washi that I had also sitting in my cart in the freckled fawn site and I decided not to get that, and this happened to be on sale. I, um, I don't think I'm gonna use the cacti or plant one, or maybe I will, I don't know, but um, I really bought it for this, and that was also on sale. I got some silver binder rings, so if I wanted to keep something, or my next album cool toned, I can. Um, that'll last me plenty, because this will I'll get quite a few albums out of this between these and the black rings that I bought um, for this album that I'm currently using. And then I bought more of these little tasseled paper clips because I thought these are way fun to use. Um, I'm currently using them in my journal now. And I've been using them in my daughter's journal as like little things to stick out of the top. So um, I thought this would be a fun thing to use and extend use out of and I think that's it um, but that's what my plans are just as a little update for you in what's going on with my next journal coming up and um, yeah I'm excited I am actually thinking of maybe filming the process of putting that album together whereas the last time when I introduced you to this one I just already had it put together so hmm, let me know if you guys are interested i can kind of start the process and then show you the middle of it you know just what i'm putting in and things that i'm adding how i'm doing it let me know um but wanted to jump on here and show you some of the brighter elements that i'm bringing into my crafting so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye